All right, guys, welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. I know it's been a long while since I made a video. I, I believe the last video I made was at the start of this month. Uh, basically, uh, in that video, I was saying that according, if you take the historical data during halving years, average them out, it could be it you know, that average would leave us at a $117,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year. And uh, I was saying, you know, that starts in October. Usually when, when things get going, October usually is the best, historically has been the best uh, month for Bitcoin. Um, but November and December, especially in having years are super great. Um, and I think it was the day that I did that video, it crashed down from, I don't know, 65 or 66. Eventually over the next few days of that, uh, got down to like 58 and I had some people in the comments that were saying, Oh, the, you know, no, none of these guys know what they're talking about. But guys, October and the end of this year, that that was a bigger forecast than just one or two days. And guys, if you look back at your charts, the last four or five months, the first week in the month, it seems to be uh, like kind of a sell off week while we wait for jobs numbers and other economic indicators to come out during that first week. Um, so I think that's what we've seen. And historically, we've always seen gains in October come from the last two weeks of the month, which is definitely what we've seen. Um, but guys, I'm going to get into all of that. I really want to show you guys some things in the charts that we just broke through last night so we're going to get into that we're we're back in the bull run we're we're finally breaking out of that boring zone so exciting times to come uh stick around we're going to we're going to get into the charts and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean um but I do apologize that I haven't been on uh you know giving you guys the updates it just kind of felt like you know, I, I was kind of exhausted from making these videos all through those like six months, you know, after we hit those all time highs, six, eight months or so that it's been and just a lot of sideways nothingness. So I, I was a little burnout. Um, plus, I've I've been I've actually been um, playing um, writing and playing music with a band that I get together with on the weekends and we just um started recording actually uh over this weekend which is pretty cool it's it's kept me busy kept my mind off the charts that during you know the last six months of just you know boringness uh so it's been good but the song we were recording Yes, uh, the over the weekend we're actually donating to a comp a compilation that is actually going a hundred percent of the um, proceeds for this comp, this music comp will go towards helping animals at sanctuaries, which crazy enough, that's what I love doing. Uh, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know, I always try and, and spotlight a different sanctuary every month. Um, so super cool. Uh, we're going to have a, a song on that comp. Um, and yeah, it'll be, it'll be really cool. The, the song that we recorded is actually, I wrote the lyrics, um, and the bass, uh, you know, the, we kind of started out with the bass line. So I wrote that and we just started, you know, going, but the song is about my rooster, Tyler, and he was, uh, rescued from a cockfighting ring in Washington, um, 2020 or 2021. And I, I ended up adopting him after he was rescued. But, um, so the song's about him. So it's perfect song for a compilation about helping animals. Um, if you guys want to check us out, I think our, our lead singer, I think she, um, 
made a YouTube for our band and has just posted a few uh, recordings of us playing here and there. But we'll probably have more um, on there. I think the song about my rooster is on there as well as uh, a few covers we've done, Misfits and uh, Rancid, I believe. Um, so if you want to check us out, we're on YouTube at the, uh, I think our, our name uh, on YouTube, the name that we came up with is The Biscuit Makers, which is kind of a nod to cats also, which is kind of cool. Um, <laughs> I didn't even come up with that name. It was my bandmates that came up with the name. And um, yeah, just uh, kind of cool. If you wanted to check us out, The Biscuit Makers um, on YouTube, we have a few songs on there right now. So, um, okay. So as uh, also getting into helping animals, I've been slacking this month. And so I haven't really been able to spotlight this sanctuary on the channel, but uh, let's just jump over here. This is the sanctuary that I'm really trying to help out this month. It's Riverview Rescue. These guys are in Nebraska. Um, really cool um, rescue for, um, I think mainly it's, they, they rescue cows in Nebraska that have been neglected um, out there in, in the beef state. Uh, so go over, help these guys out. I do have a link in my description that will take you to their Facebook page. If you want to check them out, I also have a link in the description that you can just go straight to this. It's their link tree. You can contact them. You can donate to, to them via Venmo, or you can hit this donate button at the bottom and it'll take you to PayPal, uh, where you can just enter in a debit card or credit card or use your PayPal um, account. So really cool sanctuary, guys. Appreciated, much appreciated all the time. If you guys ever uh, go over and help support these guys out. Okay, so let's get into uh, the charts, guys. I'm going to take you over here uh, to trade view. As you may or may not have noticed, guys, the last couple weeks we have just been on a tear upwards uh but just last night we've broken out of a few key levels um so i want to show you that but you know we we've just been you know this is on the hourly this this uh chart here let me just pull this up so you can kind of see um so you can see we're on the hourly right here so this is just over the last, you know, couple days of, of hourly candles. Um, but this is all good. You know, we're looking, you know, these moving averages are all in line. We've got green over orange over yellow, which is what you want to see when we're going up. Um, I want to jump out to the daily and then I'm just going to show you these these key levels that I I've been talking about in, in the intro. Um, let's see, we'll go to the daily and let's zoom all the way out to the beginning of this, where we started breaking out. Uh, we broke out on the ETF uh, launch right here. We set all, all time highs. And then we've just been over the last, eight months we have just been doing this whole sideways to downward motion now the big thing here guys is the the bear case what the bears have been saying in the charts over the last eight months has been okay well we broke out we set this high we came down there was a low here let me just get my uh drawing so we had we set a, a high here we set a low here then we came back up we set a lower high and a lower low and yet again a lower high here that looks pretty similar but if if you take this this was our high right there and you can see it's just slightly lower so we set a lower high there another lower low down here 
another lower high here. And uh, then we did hit that. This was when we had that Japanese yen carry trade fallout. Um, and so we've, we've had this pattern of high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, which is a descending pattern, uh, which is not good. If you're, if you're looking at it that way, guys, that is not a good pattern to be, uh, you know, setting on it's, it's, you know, the bears were saying it was a, a descending channel pattern, uh, which is bearish. Um, my take on it was if you scroll out enough, these, these lines that mark the top and bottom of this channel are actually expanding slightly, which implies a megaphone pattern, which then tends to be bullish. Uh, if you break out towards the upside, it's a huge bullish pattern. Um, and that's what I was saying, but the, the bears were always saying, you know, we're in this lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. But guys, if you look at it, here is the thing to look at. Uh, let me just zoom in here a bit. This was our last um, lower, or this was our last lower high, which we set right at um, $70,016 was our, our last lower high. Now to break that bearish pattern, technically you need to get above that last lower high to set a higher high. And then you've broken out of that pattern. Well, we did just see that. Um, did we just see that today or yesterday? Um, let's see. We hit 69 a few, maybe last week or so. And then, uh, yeah, just last night we hit 70,218. So at that point, we broke out of that bearish uh, chart trend. If you were looking at it that way, if you weren't looking at the, the megaphone pattern and you were saying, well, we're hitting lower highs, lower highs, we broke out of that last yesterday. And we've just continued through today. Now, I want to zoom back out. Um, because technically, let's see, back here on uh, the 15th, we actually broke out of this lower um, lower range uh, or this high high range trend line, uh, which we have done in the past a few times here. We've wicked up each time and then it, we just reject after that which is uh, almost what we did. You know, we broke out of it on the 15th and when we, sh when we shot up to this higher one, which is charted by all the wicks that we go up on the daily, which is a, a kind of a shorter time frame uh, line, but that technically would have been where we wanted to, to get to confirm that we were breaking out. So we broke, broke out above that. We rejected right off of that uh, that higher line. Let me zoom in and show you guys this. We we broke out above this purple line and went right up to that that higher line that I had I've had drawn for several months, and rejected off that. And we just bounced right, right between these two lines almost perfectly. And uh, last night, guys, we we broke above this yellow line closed the candle, the daily candle above that yellow line, and we're just blowing out from there. We've liquidated a bunch of shorts that were set at 70,000, a bunch of shorts that were set at 72,400 now. Um, and we've just continued, guys. We've just continued up throughout the day. So I, I really think we're... Um, kind of at the beginning of the banana zone, as uh, Raul Pal calls it. I want to jump over to uh, a tweet here, guys. Um, <laughs> and it says, the Raul, you know, at Raul, 
banana zone begins. So Raul came up with this uh, idea of the banana zone. And every four years in the halving cycle, after the halving, you know, after that boring period, we always go through. Once we start going into that parabolic move, it's it basically on the charts forms like the shape of a banana going up. So he's dubbed it the banana zone. And uh, it it does seem like we are starting to get into that you know the charts are breaking out um and we're just kind of getting into it one last thing guys before you before i go i want to show you this i've i've shown this a few times before um back in september the the beginning of september i showed this and we did start off september in the red and i said guys we've got a ways to go in september I don't see anything but tailwinds on Bitcoin. Uh, all these, all these great news with, uh, you know, everything from, you know, BlackRock really selling the idea that that uh, Bitcoin is a flight to safety, a flight to quality, um, a hedge against inflation, uh, a hedge against the dollar weakness, um, and you know, I said, you know, historically, yes. September is the worst month for Bitcoin historically. Uh, but I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we closed in the green. And we did. And not only did we close in the green, but this, we closed at 7.29% in the green, uh, which according to this chart is the best uh, month, the best September Bitcoin has ever had all the way back to 2013. So huge September, best September we've had. Uh, and then going into October, I did that video saying, you know, we, if you go back to the, the 2020 having and the 2016 having, you have, uh, you add up these, these gains that we do October, November, and December on the having years. So right here and right here, you add those up, average them, and if, if we followed that average, we would hit $117,000 per Bitcoin by the end of the year. Now, guys, right now, uh, let's see, right now on the monthly, just right up to the minute, let me give you the, the st statistics. We are, we are up. 14.99% in October. Now, if you look back on this chart, um, last year we did 28.52, which is almost double of what we've done this year so far. We have improved on this since this was posted. Um, let's see, 2020, we did about 28% also. And then 2016, we did 14.71%. So we're actually doing better than the 2016 uh, model so far. We could go down and close, close a little bit lower in the next few days by the end of the month. But um, we could also, over the next couple of days, have a 3 or 5% day tomorrow, 3 or 5% uh, gain day at the end of the on Halloween, which guys, Halloween is Bitcoin's birthday. So, um, I don't know. Do we do we have a present coming? A birthday, a Bitcoin birthday present coming at the end of the month, hopefully. Um, anyways, guys, I think we do have some some room to go up in the next few days. We could bring that fourteen point nine 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 percent up. A little closer to what we did last year, you know, up towards 30% possibly. Um, and that wouldn't take a 15% raise uh, gain over the next couple of days because we've already gained 14%. If we gained in the next few days just a couple percent, we could kick that monthly percent up significantly. So, um, still doable uh i th i think we're we're looking good you know if you if we jump back over uh to trade view if you know this is the monthly chart guys this is a huge green channel 
on the monthly. So we are doing good. And uh, people who doubted October, uh, you know, who were back the first week of October saying October's canceled and possibly shorted Bitcoin, uh, they're probably um, sulking right now. You don't short Bitcoin. You don't short the best performing asset of all time. Um, not only that, but I, I truly believe that shorting markets in general is, in my, in my mind, criminal. Uh, you know, I, if you don't believe in something, don't buy it. But shorting something, in my mind, is, is devious. So anyways, guys, that is um, really about it. Um, if you guys like this video, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and as always, guys, I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to listen to me. Um, but yeah, we're in, a, in an exciting time. So get ready, strap in. Put your seatbelts on, uh, you know, it's going to get fun. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.